G'day, I'm Chris and this is Game Chambers. We are here today with some Total War, Warhammer 2, and we are playing against the Don in Logic's Shortbeard Grumbling Guard League. So this is a, uh, a league that's going to go on for a few weeks, and each game is going to be a best of three series. Um, so we are playing against the Don. He has picked Lizardmen, Banning Empire, and Dwarves, so I have picked some Dark Elves to go against that. Oh, what's going on? Looks like the map's not showing him the correct map. It's definitely selected there. Oh yeah, it's not showing the correct map. Sometimes that you get that bug, but we'll see. Make sure that the map works, so... I guess we'll have to restart if it doesn't, that... So I think the Don is from the LS clan, so... Good luck to him... In this game. Let's see how we go. I'm a little bit rusty, haven't played for a little while. Um, but we'll um, see how we go. Normally I'd like to bring the Empire against the Lizards, but obviously that was one of his bands. So I have been doing a little bit of practice with the Dark Elves. Uh, well, I practiced a few weeks ago, and it's been a, probably nearly a month now actually since I've had a, a game of Warhammer. So we'll see how we go, see how rusty we are. So we got a nice, nice map here. Quite like this map actually, it's got couple of nice hills with a bit of overwatching positions, for just terrain to hide behind, some forests for a bit of flanking, and yeah, not bad overall, and some nice terrain in the background with the, the mountains all around. Alright, as for my army, we've got Malekith on foot, a master to uh, go along with Guardian and protect him, a bunch of spears and bleak swords to hold the front line, some Blackheart Corsairs with Ambos to deal with the uh, potential bomb drops coming over or the um, the Chameleon Stalkers because they've got uh, they've got high armor and they're quite mobile can 360 shoot as well uh, Cold Ones just to protect the back line charging on any dinos that get through a couple of Scourge Runners just for a bit of harassing shooting at dinos and then some Vault Throwers again for shooting down at the dinosaurs okay. See what we can do here. So let's get a bolt thrower up on this rock, a bolt thrower up on this rock, because we don't want them too close to each other. Um, <laughs> you might put the oblique swords guarding the back. Get the spears spread out across the front, because we don't want to advance with the amount of shooting that we have, so we're just going to. Spread out back and I'll let the lizards come to us. Now, how many lizards are we up against? A fairly smallish army. Let's put them all in a group. Now the kids on the master in the middle. Chariots are other harassment tool. And the cavalry to protect the back line. Okay, and these guys I want to stick together. Oh, what spells did I end up taking? Did I Word of Pain and Soul Stealer? Okay. So Word of Pain just to uh, win any duels if he gets jumped on. And Soul Stealer is to keep him alive. So he's going to be fairly tanky. 90 armor, silver shield, and Soul Stealer. He'll be able to fight in the midst of infantry for quite a while. Uh, what are these guys on? Single shot? Yep. He's expecting Marathi Double Manticore, which is a very common pick in this uh, matchup. Okay, let's see what we're up against. Uh, where's the general? What do we got? Gorok, Skink Chief, and a Skink Priest of Heavens. No dinos. Nothing big for us to shoot, so we're probably going to switch to. We got Skink Cohorts, Saurus Warriors. 
Kohodokov Sotek is probably going to be our target for our um, for our bolt throwers, and we're probably going to put them into. Um, but what are we going to shoot here? Probably the cohort of Sotek. Okay. That's a. Not seeing anything on the minimap coming up behind us yet. Okay, so I guess we got to clear these skink jab ones first. Let's just charge into them with the. See what we can do here. Yep, yeah, that's what we want. Pull them back out. And where are we going? There's some red crested skinks. We'll shoot those. Alright, we'll just pull the fire in, see what we can do. We do want to get rid of the cohort of Sotek as quickly as we can. Should we charge this unit here? Don't want to get caught by the red crested skinks if we can help it. Let's keep, we'll keep our front line spinning around. Yeah, hero squad on the front. Taking a bit of damage here on this Corsair Hambow unit. No survivors. Going. Let's move these guys over and we'll see if we can focus on the um, single flank a bit more. What do we got coming in? Taurus Warriors with shields. It's okay. Okay, let's get everyone engaging. Where's my sword on this flank? Okay, get these guys into the middle. Guys, keep shooting the red crested skinks, please. It's a nice spell. Let's see how many we can get in this soul stealer here. A few units in there. We lost the front line there, so we'll bring these guys back. Oh, I'm not doing very good with these chariots, let's bring them down to the front line. So get you guys cycle charging. Let's go fight there. Saurus warriors have messed them up. Let's get on to Gorok. We get those spears out of there. Should put them on firing again. Okay. Okay, some malice down here. Oh, what well we got? No, not. Ah, uh, I don't know what's happening there. That was a bit of a lag. A bit of a lag spike there. Uh, you guys have lost your bolts for our amateur. Slaughter them! Kill everything! Daruki, forward! Death is coming! Okay. So we can charge in on here. Moving out! Terror and death! Battle ready! By Dracula! Murder awaits! Keep the fire going in on. Uh, go rock a large target. Chariot cycle charge and get these spears back in. Save up some winds of magic. Might have to get these guys engaged. 
Normality. Destroy to destruction. Advance to destruction. Yeah, I was trying to just break this blank over here. We got enough. So the master is in a bit of trouble here. See if we can get in there and help out a little bit. Yeah, you keep fighting in the middle there. You can engage there. You should have that under control. Get that under control. How are we going? Nearly got another soul steal already? Here we do. There we go. Let's wait for a few more of these units to come in. Come on, blob up a bit more. Glorious destruction. Oh, we're gonna get even more of a blob. Okay, so there's a big blob coming this way. Let's see if we can take them down. Let's see if we can get away from those spears. Cavalry are not really. Let's see if we can get them in there. Things are not looking great. Let's see what we can do there. These are looking pretty grim, actually. Oh, my chariots is broken. Old ones, okay, they've rallied. Can they? I don't think they can beat the Saurus. Malik is still fighting. It's a nice gaze of Malus. Let's see if we can finish off this skink priest heavens at least. You need to get enough winds of magic for another. We free up these units. No. Oh, there's army losses. GG. Game to uh, our opponent, the Dawn, there. No, we couldn't hold on with the army losses. Uh, we definitely were severely outnumbered there at the end, and that, um, that swarm of lizards was pretty good. I didn't have any big monsters that I was prepared for. Now let's have a look at some values, see how we've done. And Malik is uh, just about paid for himself. Master didn't do very good at all. Uh, front line, you don't expect to get much value out of a front line against Taurus, but they didn't even hold for that long. Corsairs didn't do that great. Chariots did okay with it again, so nothing really paid for itself. Gorok did okay, so nothing really was. Um, well, the Red Crested Skink did quite well. And the Saurus. Wow, this Saurus warrior here just absolutely stomping. Yeah, nothing on either side was really uh, causing Matt Gaining. Massive amounts of value, but everything sort of did its job, and uh, yeah, the Don came out on top. So let's pause it and we'll get on with the next game. Okay, here we are with game two in my matchup in the Logic Shorebeard lead against the Don. So I can't remember the picks and the bands here. I think I picked High Elves and Band Beastmen and Bretonia pretty sure is what happened and the Don has gone and picked the vampire count so in my army I have come in with Teclas 
leading a front line of Spearmen and Silver and Guard, backed up with a back line of Lob and Sea Guard. So Lob and Sea Guard are good here because they can actually handle being jumped on by, by hounds and by uh, zombies and all that sort of stuff. Got two units of white lions bringing up the rear just to deal with any grave guard, and I have the fireborn to to duel off with um, the blood knights or to deal with any of the stuff that's weak to fire. And up in the sky, I have a star dragon, which um, I'm not sure I like it as much in this matchup as I used to, but I'm just a big fan of the dragons in general. And with techless, it's a pretty good combination with the net and kindle flame. On the Don side here for the vampire accounts, it's got a front line of zombies with the tithe on one end, so that's just there to soak up all the missile fire that I could potentially bring, followed by a back line of skeletons and graveguard with great weapons. So graveguard with great weapons, great at trading into the high elven infantry. In the sky, he's definitely got the aerial superiority with a terror geist, a blood dragon, vampire lord, and two units of Vargeist, one of which is the Devils of Swashhaven, which I think have got Frenzy over the normal ones. Now they've both got Frenzy. What do they have extra? Where are we? Terror? Yeah, so they bring Terror over the, uh, over the normal Vargeist, Terror and Advanced Deploy by the looks of that. And along with the uh, rank 9 stats. Alright, so let's see how this game game come breaks down. So I'm moving the spears forward just to hold the hold the line. And I've got the Lothan Sea Guard. I'll bring Techless back from the front line. And I know I can't send the Star Dragon forward. Because if he goes out in, out there, he's going to be uh, severely outmatched in the sky. Just a couple of auto shots from the Lothan Sea Guard into the zombies before I retarget them. And I'm going to retarget them into the uh, unshielded Grave Guard at the back here. So they don't have shields. Even though they have 90 armor, they're still a much better target for the Lothan Sea Guard than the zombies. Because they're actually a threat to my units in main. Melee. I don't need to move forward much more here. I do inch forward a little bit just to keep the front line a little bit away from my Lothan Sea Guard, but I don't need to engage the uh, the vampire counts straight away. I did miss the hounds here in the woods, the dire pack and the dire wolves, uh, and I do miss them throughout the game too. So I've actually definitely gotten very um, slack at watching my back lines, and so I haven't played for a while. And a couple of games I've been caught out from charges from the back. So the Sea Guard doing quite well here, taking these Graveguard down, and the front line is now engaged with the zombies. Just to clear the zombie chaff out, I just use uh, Teclas's um, Flames of the Phoenix, or Fiery Convocation, I think it is. And you can see there, it just deletes those two um, zombie units, which means the uh, Skeleton Warriors and Graveguard need to come forward. A bit of a uh, mistake here, I think, from the dumps, leaving the, the, the Devils and the Vampire Lord back a bit before... Um, See, I've managed to do significant damage to this Graveguard unit, deleted a couple of units of um, zombies, and then I can move everyone else forward. Very nice play here, though. Bit of patience waiting until I'd moved the protection away, and then he jumps on them there. I managed to get a net down. I was trying to net everything, but uh, one unit of Vargas got through, which turns out to actually be a benefit, so I'm actually able to focus the, the Love and Sea Guard and the Star Dragon onto them. I dropped down a uh, Flaming Sword of Ruin onto them to uh, boost their damage. Now, I don't believe these guys are actually weak to fire. The only thing weak to fire in this particular list is the Terror Geist, so the fire damage doesn't really help, but the extra damage definitely does there, and you see that unit of Vargeist gets removed before he's um, able to bring in any support. <coughs> uh, so Teclas is looking in a bit of trouble here, so I try and get him away. I do see the Devils coming, and I should have pulled into the Silver and Guard here, um, but I didn't. I was a little bit slow. I managed to throw down the Potion of Shiroi, which probably keeps him alive here, giving that extra damage resistance. But what he should have done was definitely come in through here. And you see the Curse of Years goes down, lowering all of our stats, which is going to neuter the Fireborn's attempt to try and save Teclas. And you can see Teclas does manage to squeak away on the side here, and the um, Star Dragon is trying to protect him, but there's a lot of um, hounds around here. Blood Dragon Vampire Lord pushes in and with a massive hit there nearly takes Teclas out. And he becomes terrified and begins running and just has a natural break as well. Uh, so I still can see Guard rallying in the back line. Dragon is still fighting, trying to get rid of these hounds. I move the silver and, and the white lions in, see what they can do. These Lothan Sea Guard have been engaged by zombies, but I'm not too worried. I've got them on guard mode, so they're still shooting for the most part. So yeah, they don't really need to stress too much about them. And we have a beautiful synced animation here as the uh, Blood Dragon Vampire Lord picks up and slams the Star Dragon into the ground. Love that animation. 
So the Star Dragon is definitely no match for the Blood Dragon Vampire Lord, especially with um, Van Hells. And you can see there he's definitely losing that fight. Techless comes back, so drop a regrowth on himself, just because if he uh, gets jumped on again, he's definitely going to die. And starts coming back in to rejoin the fight. Over on this left flank, the White Lions actually lose to the Grave Guard with great weapons, and the Lothan Sea Guard get engaged. So I think I'm going to move the Lothan Sea Guard, the Silver and Guard, in here to protect them. But um, yeah, maybe I haven't noticed that that yet. I'm probably busy over here microing the Fireborn and trying to get them back into the fight. Get the Star Dragon back up into the air, and I realise I'm right above the Terrorgeist, so it's the perfect opportunity to use the Star Dragon's Breath Tap. So you'll notice it does a massive chunk of damage to that Terrorgeist, and being weak to fire, both the uh, Star Dragon and the Fireborn do fire damage, they come on in and do severe damage to it there. Nice Breath Attack comes in on my Fireborn, dropping quite a few models there, and at the moment I'm just trying to keep everything close together. Uh, the Star Dragon launches up into the air, which is probably not a good thing because it can't land again. So the Blood Dragon Vampire Lord throws down um, is it Helm of Discord, so I throw down the Enfeebling Foe to counter that. And I also get the Lothan Sea Guard providing air fire support to the Star Dragon in the sky. So the Star Dragon is definitely going to lose this jewel. You can see there it's losing health quite rapidly. And I don't think I've got enough mana for a regrowth, but. The uh, fire complication over here wipes out the last of his, um, the ground units, which causes the morale of the Blood Dragon Lord to break, and the Star Dragon actually survives the fight. So good game to the Don there. And that puts us 1-1 and going into a final rubber match. So we look at the values here, Teclas didn't do a whole lot, mostly killed uh, Chaff with the fire complication, 120 kills, not even 200 value. So. Let's see the front line. Got quite a lot of kills, mostly zombies. And a lot of the Sea Guard, this is where the uh, meat of the army was. They did all the heavy lifting. You can see there, and the Fireborn didn't pay for themselves, but they still did some significant damage. And the Star Dragon definitely pulling its weight. Still quite like the dragon in this matchup. Blood Dragon Vampire Lord, huge values. Obviously, nearly killed Techless, nearly killed the uh, Star Dragon, nearly killed the Fireborn. So, all my high value units were pretty much nearly soloed by the Blood Dragon Vampire Lord. Uh, I guess the key thing there is it nearly killed each of them. So, because each of them were able to survive, especially Techless and the Star Dragon, it was able to get us the win. Uh, I think if Techless had died or the Star Dragon had died, we definitely would have lost that fight and wouldn't have been able to deal with that Blood Dragon. A bit unlucky for my opponent there. So zombies, you don't expect zombies to get much value. Tithe got a little bit. Skeletons did a little bit of work. Uh, this one unit of Grape Guard would have been the one that defeated the uh, White Lions on the flank. So I think that was that unit. I'm not sure. And the Dire Wolves. One Dire Wolf unit did quite alright, but um, the Dire Wolves struggled to get their value against a lot of the Sea Guard backline. If I'd have brought normal archers though, the Dire Wolves would have just eaten their way straight through them. And if I had any bolt throwers or anything like that, it definitely would have just made a mess of things. And there we go. A good game to the Don, and we shall see you in the final game. All right, here we are back with game three, myself versus the Don in the Logic League. So I did forget to... Uh, start the recording again for the second game so we'll have to go back to the replay hopefully i'll have injected that into the middle here and you'll have already watched it and you'll be wondering why i'm still talking about it so the second game the third game here sorry uh, i won the second game so uh, it was up to me to pick three and ban two so i've picked high elves bretonia sorry wood elves bretonia and uh, empire and the Banned the dwarves. They didn't have a second ban because they already banned the beastmen this series and uh, already played against the lizardmen. So um, the Don has picked chaos and banned the wood elves. So I have picked the empire and brought Carl Franz along with his requisite jade wizard. I've also brought a bright wizard with fireball up on a pegasus just to go and um, deal with any hell cannons that might actually be out there. And I've come with a line of spears with the Sigma Suns in the middle. And we've got a couple of, or a singular, singular greatsword unit. And a couple of handgunners to deal some damage. I did have Huntsman, um, not sure. I think the Huntsman may actually be a better choice in this match, but I decided to go for the handgunners in the end. Uh, a couple of Empire Knights to protect the back lines. 
and a whole swag of pistoliers to try and win the skirmish engagement. So we got our bright wizard over there. Our, our uh, jade wizard will go in the middle of the army, and Carl is there to basically deal with all the big chaos beasties. So with Galamaraz and the Rockland Runefang popped, he can pretty much solo anything in the game. So he's definitely a powerful combatant. Um, and so long as to keep the Jade Wizard alive, we should be able to keep him pretty safe. Uh, so you guys are going to be group three. So you can... You guys are going to be group four. You can be five. Be six, and you could be seven, and group three will be the guns. I want you to be on hold ground. You to be on hold ground. Okay. So we'll put you guys in the middle. <laughs> now, if there is a hell cannon, we'll have to immediately get the fireball. Where are you, Brightwood? Yeah, there you are. The fireball immediately going downtown onto that. Uh, if there is no Hell Cannon, then we have a little more uh, flexibility and we don't have to quite rush as quickly as possible and we're going to try and win the skirmish. If you go on a solid line of marauders and warriors and not much skirmish, what we'll actually do is pull the army back and depending on his mobility, we might send the Empire Knights forward to help out, but otherwise we're going to try and harass with the Pistoliers. Um, we'll see how we go. Let our opponent know that we're ready. We'll see how we go with this game. So, definitely been good coming back. Definitely we're feeling the rust, but we'll see if we can shake it off and uh, get a few more games in before Warhammer 3 comes out. Yep, there we go. Okay, I think he's ready. Maybe. There's a death floor up in the sky, beautiful tiger pattern. Where do we get rid of the... What button is it to get rid of that? Nope, nope. Here we go. Nice shot there with some fancy structure in the background. I don't know what that is. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we're up against. Uh, no hell cannon, but definitely... Um, skirmish all over the place. So who are we up against here? Prince Sigvald? Yep. Sorcerer of Metal. So... Let's just start throwing those fireballs down town into that sorcerer of metal, get these pistoliers back. You guys are gonna be group three. Start focusing down on these guys here. Okay. Rotate to this side. Make sure you're not going too far forward. Okay, so we're going to do uh, this. Carl can get a couple of kills here. Yes, my lord. Bit of a terror route, yep, beautiful. Coming back up in the air. Bring these pistols back again. Now what do we have? Infantry Marauders, Marauders, Chaos Warriors, Chaos Warriors, Chaos Warriors. He's definitely got the infantry advantage here. Yep, didn't see these dogs. Turn and get them onto him. And we're getting definitely uh, sloppy when it comes to protecting my backline today, aren't I? Okay, dogs are shattered. That's what's supposed to happen. Fire wizard chase them off. Main guns can come back. Pistol ears around on the flank. Great swords. I'm not going to charge you in yet. We're going to keep you as a reserve. Car, we need you up in the air. And we're going to go deal with that metal wizard because he is going to be... Yep, okay, we definitely need to move you away from everyone there, Carl, because that's going to be a final transmutation. Yep, upgraded, so we're just going to keep him by himself. Okay, 
Let's see if we can win this skirmish fight over here first. Just throw that on the car. Alright, let's jump him in on this Bright Wizard. Pop the buffs and see what we can do. Alright, so Bright Wizard's chasing you off there. Bring you in on the back here. Bring you in over here. Bring that cavalry back. Bring you over here. Great swords, you go for those Chaos Warriors. With Carl. Okay, you come back. You're supposed to be killing that unit, where are you going? Turn them around. Carl is getting his ass kicked in there, so let's get a heal onto him. Get these guys back. Bring them out and back in. Pistoliers, chase off them if you can. Get these guns falling back. So my sons get them in there. Great swords get them in there. Carl, go kill that sorcerer. Charge back in there. Let's see if we can just finish that guy. Uh, actually, we don't need to fireball him, do we? Help out with the cav. Keep falling back for me. Handguns. Okay, he's, he's broken. Shattered. Let's try and get, get these handguns back further. Life Wizard is now gone. Some cycle charge here. Bit of a blob fight going on. Uh, let's get Carl onto these guys. Okay, chase him off. One of you chase him off. Okay, he's shattered. Let's bring him back around. Start shooting those Chaos Warriors. You shoot that way. Spears, come on in. Need you. Okay, shoot that way. We need that thing down. Where's Carl? Just in there, that's okay. Get our cavalry here. So we can cycle charge into the back here. Okay, Chaos Warriors, and you're just shooting on them. Oh, yep. oh, you keep chasing that guy down. You guys get in on that fight there. Life Wizard, you chilled out. Soldiers of the Empire, moving now. Ready. Withdraw. Very well. Whoa. Carl is struggling in over there, isn't he? Kindle flame. Moving. Sigma guides us. Coming back. You guys can charge back in. Carl, I need you back in the air. Yeah, you chase him down. Get back up in the air, Carl. Let's keep retreating. Okay, just make sure he keeps running. Don't let him rally. Okay, you run them down. Let's just try and take out some units here and there. So they're going to be able to chase him off. Let's get you back this way. Let's get these spears back this way. Okay, you're chasing them off. You come back. I'll come back. Spears come back. That's it. Push him off the board. Still got a bright wizard. Still got plenty of. Still got a fire wizard. No, you want you chasing there. Form up over here. Carl charging on them. Charging, that'll do. Okay, so he's shattered. We have cavalry together. 
Did you guys really break? No, you didn't break. Good. Let's see if I put some damage onto on the Sigvald here. It's not going to be very easy, actually. What do we got here? Marauders? Yeah, let's see what we can do about them. So we need the Chaos Warriors to break. Okay, charge them in here. Charge the Chaos Warriors in here. Carl can charge in here. You guys charge in there. Carl, oh, don't get in combat with Sigvold. But we want to break everything else in there. Make everyone else run away. Then we get Sigvold can just uh, break the army losses. In theory. But there's a lot of Elg stuff fleeing at the moment. Which is not... Not good. I will not stand idle. Actually, that was very bad. There's a lot of breaks there. For Altdorf, the Empire and so we don't want him to go in because the Sigvald is right there. That's not good. We didn't want that break there. We serve the Emperor! Hand okay, so we can't retreat with one of these handgun units. As long as one of them is firing, then we're okay. Okay, we need Carl back here now. For Heldenhammer! What is this? The Chaos Marauders. The fact that we're about to run out of uh, bullets is not good. Okay, so they're shattered. We're now out of bullets, so you chase them down. Which means this unit can't. Oh no, because they're chasing, so we're okay. It's going to be close. Okay, surely at that range you can't miss. If you chase him, you keep chasing there. I don't think we're going to be able to break him here. Maybe we've got a few shots from the handguns. Come on, Carl. Come on, you can do it. That's it. That's it. It's going to be close. Be very close. Oh, and there's Sigval Shadows. That was extremely close game, that one.
thought Sigvald was going to be able to get Carl there. Carl definitely did the heavy lifting, which is his job in this matchup. So handguns also did good work. So the Empire Knights, the Pistoliers. Well, they didn't get good value, but I'm pretty sure they did their job. Sigvald, so he so good in um, against uh, enemy characters. Such a good duelist. Customer orders here did well. I think they might have ended up in combat with the great swords because great swords didn't really get their value, so they needed to get them onto these chaos warriors. And there we are. So that was a very close game. Thanks very much to my opponent, the Don, for the three great games. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.